What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the brand new Honor Magic Book Pro, bringing you a powerful combination of specs, features with a big screen display and lots more. Now I've already reviewed the previous gen Honor Magic Book 14, which released early this year, and it's truly a remarkable little laptop. You have a nice design, decent power and performance for work and play with a great battery life. You have Type-C super fast charging and you have great heat management. So when I heard about the new Honor Magic Book Pro with the bigger screen, more powerful specifications, I just had to get my hands on it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So let's do this. So here we have a 65 watt fast charger. It is USB-C. Type-C to Type-C charging cable. Your paperwork, user manuals, etc. And last but not least, the laptop itself. So here it is, guys. The Honor Magic Book Pro. Now, the entire laptop is made from a complete metal body. Uh, feels ultra premium, finished in space gray. You've got the Honor logo engraved in black. And even that looks and feels quite nice. Now, first glance, it's quite reminiscent to the MacBook Pro. Now, the lid doesn't open a complete 180 degrees flat, but nevertheless, the hinges do feel pretty solid and smooth when opening and closing. So that was also one of the things I liked about the previous gen Honor Magic Book. Just quickly put them side by side. So this is the previous gen Honor Magic Book 14, which released roughly March 2020. I've been using it on a daily basis, and it's an amazing device. But imagine this device being upgraded with a bigger display, double the RAM, double the internal storage, and double the CPU performance, and lots more minor improvements, which I will go through. The Magic Book Pro is only 1.7 kgs in weight, so fairly light for a large 16-inch laptop. And the thickness is also not bad, coming in at 16.9 millimeters. Now, quickly go through the ports. Now on the side, we have USB Type-C port charging, HDMI out, and also a USB 3 port. And on the other side, you will find two more USB 3 ports and a headphone jack. Now this laptop is powered by the AMD Ryzen 5 4600H, which is a hexa-core CPU clocked at three gigahertz. Now you've got shared graphics with the AMD Raiden RX Vega 6. You've also got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigs SSD drive. Now, if we talk about the display, you've got a 16.1 inch full view IPS display with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. So full HD screen looks nice and bright, pretty good colors and contrast. The bezels are absolutely tiny at only 4.9 millimeters on the sides and the top. And they were able to achieve these slim bezels thanks to the placement of the webcam, which you will find between the F6 and the F7 key. Same as the earlier model, and I'm a huge fan of this feature. I think every laptop should implement their webcam in a similar way. So it's very convenient, easy to access, completely out the way, and gives you complete control over your privacy. So absolute genius who thought of that one. Now this laptop also has a fingerprint reader built into the power button. So if you just touch it without pressing it, it will unlock your laptop surprisingly fast and accurately, and it saves a lot of time rather than typing in passwords. It's probably one of the fastest fingerprint readers I've experienced on a Windows laptop, giving you instant access to your computer when you need it. Now, if we talk about gaming, the Magic Book Pro has shared AMD graphics. So no dedicated graphics, not really designed to be a gaming laptop. However, most general games from the Windows Store like Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat 5 will still play absolutely fine. So let's check out some hands-on gaming. Let's begin with Asphalt 9.
君は毒が知らない本当だ Now you can also play older PC titles like San Andreas, Rainbow Six and many others and emulation also works quite well and I tested out PlayStation 2, PSP and N64 and here are a few samples. If you're still wondering how big AAA titles will work on this system, here is some gameplay of GTA 5. And a quick look at the graphics. You can see the resolution 1024 by 768 and the texture quality is high. Mostly everything else is on high. All right, so let's see what it actually plays like. So it's quite smooth. Surprisingly smooth. You can see the game actually plays okay. Let's grab a car, let's go for a drive. Here we go. Solid 30 frames per second. Not so high resolution, but it's actually quite smooth. I'm not feeling any lag at all while playing this game. It doesn't look the best, I have to admit. I'm wondering what would happen if I turned the quality up. Could this system handle it? That's the question. Because this is not bad at all. So time to put this laptop to the test. So I'm gonna bump that resolution up to 1080p. and every other setting I am going to set to very high. So with GTA on the maximum possible settings for this laptop, we are going to see how it performs. So I've bumped the quality up to 1080p and now the game looks really good. Still 30 frames per second. Let's go for a drive. So yeah, very smooth, no lag whatsoever. This is 1080p at 30 frames per second, GTA 5. And it handles it, and it's a solid 30 frames per second. Now I'm impressed. Now this laptop has a pretty decent cooling fan with dual fans and dual heat pipes and you have a shark fin 2.0 fan design which optimizes the airflow keeping the system running cool and fairly silent in operation. 
So even after a few hours of gaming and video streaming, the temperatures did not exceed 85 degrees and maintained around 68 to 75 degrees. So no overheating issues with this Magic Book Pro. Now you've got the latest Bluetooth version 5, a very good Wi-Fi speed with dual band Wi-Fi AC. Now this is running Windows 10 Home, comes activated and ready to use. Now the OS does feel snappy in operation. I don't feel any lag whilst using this laptop. I have surfed the web, shopped online and watched many videos on YouTube at 4K resolution, which played nice and smooth with no issues. Netflix HD is also supported and Amazon Prime Video plays nicely at 4K. Here are some benchmark results. So 3000 points on Cinebench is quite respectful and also a CPU pass mark of just over 15K. So Honor were not messing around with the choices they made in the specifications of this Magic Book Pro. Now the internal storage is 512 gigs. Now they've split the drive and created a partition. So one drive has just under 120 gigs and Windows is installed on the smaller partition and the D drive actually comes completely empty but I've done a pretty good job of downloading lots of games and software. So I've filled up quarter of that drive already. But as you can see, you still have plenty of free space to play with on both partitions. Now let's talk about the speakers. You have dual speakers built in, supporting virtual surround sound. Now the speakers are located on either side of the keyboard. Sound quality is actually decent. It doesn't get very loud and peaks at around 79 decibels, but the actual sound quality is good. And you do get that virtual surround sound effect. Now, another cool feature worth mentioning is Magic Link, which is basically the Magic Book's easy way to connect with your Honor or Huawei smartphone to file transfer, screen mirror, and lots more. So you just place your smartphone on top of the keyboard and within a few seconds, your smartphone will be paired you can then transfer files or screen mirror your smartphone and control your smartphone completely on the Magic Book. So that was the Honor Magic Book Pro and I've been personally using the previous gen Honor Magic Book 14 on a daily basis and I absolutely love everything it has to offer. Now the new Magic Book Pro right next to it, you can see how they fare side by side. 14 inch model versus the 16 inch model. So full size keyboard, full size trackpad on both models. Ports are also different, so exactly the same on this side, but you're getting two USB 3 ports in the Pro model and the previous gen, you're only getting one USB 3 port. You're getting that combo power button and fingerprint reader in one on both devices. So if you've used the old model before, or if you like the old model, you're absolutely gonna love the new Magic Book Pro. So you are getting a powerful, versatile laptop which offers plenty of performance to undertake more or less any task you like. So great for surfing the web, shopping online, light PC gaming, and even light video editing. And I'm really liking the bigger display without the compromise of a much heavier system. So the laptop itself is still slim and light, which is great if you're thinking about traveling around with it. Now, I found the keyboard quite comfortable to type on. You've got a full-size keyboard. You have low-key travel, but it still delivers some punchy feedback. Typing experience is generally good and it's actually a backlit keyboard with a decent large click pad to go with it. Now I have been playing GTA for around one hour and the game is still open in the background and here are the system temperatures. So current temperature shows 71 degrees, 45 when we started and it peaked at maximum 84 degrees. Now the laptop itself does not even feel hot to the touch, it's barely lukewarm. So you've got a very efficient cooling system in this laptop. And of course those dual fans did kick in whilst we were playing but i'm pleased to say that the fans were actually on the quieter side should things change i will definitely update you guys in the pinned comments so bottom line the most powerful magic book we have seen to date with a decent full hd display virtual surround sound tiny bezels compact and lightweight 
pop-up camera, great battery life with super fast charging and a brighter display than the previous model, coming in at around 300 nits. So a pretty decent overall performance for the price. If you're looking for a big screen laptop which offers great versatility and is still fairly light and portable and jam packed with lots of great usable features, then the Honor Magic Book Pro is definitely something you should consider. Also, if you have any questions on this laptop, feel free to fire them at me in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.